Okay guys, so I um, saw this little bench with Mark's tools just um, sitting here and that inspired me to do this video and I asked Mark to present to you all his favorite drawing tools and what they can do. So we're gonna do a quick demo. All right. I'll try to peek over <laughs> his shoulder and um, let's um, show us and tell us which tool is as well, you're I'll picking do this. them up. So we have Conte crayon and its various forms. We have uh, obviously charcoal pencil. I like this particular brand right here, Conte, which is very lovely. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Conte, here is Conte crayon. Mm -hmm. um, how about a big piece of charcoal when I'm feeling bold? And this is a piece of compressed charcoal, which gets quite dark. Uh, this is known as vine or willow stick. It has a lighter tone to it. I also like working with different erasers from kneaded eraser, which is cleaned by kneading it, as well as a block eraser, which I cut to an angle so that I can subtract both broadly as well with a thin line, and mm -hmm. chamois cloth, which produces a beautiful tone and also lifts up the tool. Then if I'm working on toned paper, of course, I have white chalk as well for white. Yes. So there is that. There are others, but that's the ones I have right now. There are colors there that you like. And using. then here is a sanguine pencil for some really beautiful color. And the great thing about this is that of course it creates a tone. And then I do have some colors here. I was using this primarily for um uh I was working on a uh a drawing of uh, anatomy and I needed some small colors. So let's start with this big block and people look at this and go, my God, but the great thing about this, of course, is that you can yes. do things like that and it allows you to really make big marks this way. And, and of course, if you twist and turn the tool, you can get all kinds of wonderful things. So the chamois cloth can lift up, but also create a richer, smoother tone, if you will. And then once this cloth gets dark, um, then if you're doing a drawing, let's say, and you're trying to bring in some form and volume, you can take this tool and come in here very lightly and it creates a really beautiful soft tone just by itself mm -hmm. for a nice, beautiful soft tone this way, you yeah. see. So if That's I if I if I want to have fun with the big tool, just I'll make a real quick sketch here. I might do something like this. And lo and behold, I might have a beginning of a head. Then I might, if I want to be really bold and daring, I'll take this. It's a little bit like a Hitler mustache. It's a little Hitler right now, but we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll get rid of that. Then if I want a nice bold tool, such as this charcoal, which gets really dark, then I can begin to be a little stronger and bolder. And which charcoal is that? This is called uh, charcoal. It's a, the brand name is charcoal with a... K, K O L E. And so that makes a really rich, kind of wonderful mark. We'll get rid of that mustache and make it more of a face. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's nice and bold, yes. Mm -hmm. The great thing I like about charcoal, of course, is that it does blend and, and, and becomes quite rich. The tone can be quite rich. Get that cheekbone going in here. And then I'll do some erasure here in just a second. So if you're not afraid to get messy, you see things can get quite wonderful this way. And then with pencil, of course, the great thing about pencil is the kinds of marks that you can make. It's a charcoal pencil, right? This is charcoal pencil. I'm just kind of hatching my way along here in terms of these forms and volumes. But then you can also have, of course, that wonderful rich thick and thin line that we discussed. Thick and then thin and then thick again. So that beautiful idea of line being thick and then thin. So the line breathes. If you draw a shape like this with one thick line, it's all flat, but if you draw a line that's in a shape like this, it, it has much more beautiful depth and rhythm, spatial play. So what else we got? The, then we have this wonderful Conte here, which is now I'm coming back into my drawing and introducing a warmer tone. 
I also invest, usually I investigate with this tool first and then I come back in with a darker one. Mm -hmm. um, I'm always having students think about working the edges of things so I can maybe bring some color in here and do this sort of thing and again get in here. I tend to want to get in there with my hands. It's just something I like to do. Mm -hmm. It's getting ugly now. So here's where eraser comes in. And one can erase right back to the ghost and start all over again if you want to. Or be more, be more careful. But erasure becomes a big, big part of drawing. I can draw that ear that I'm yes, trying to you can discover. Draw with erasing. I'm trying to draw that ear out That's with the fine. eraser. And you can take the whole back thing back to a ghost, especially if things don't work for you. Then you say to yourself, well, fine, let me just take the whole thing back to a ghost. Again, I tend to, right now for the demo, I'm acting like a German expressionist, but it can also be very subtle too. It doesn't have to be this sort of bold and crazy, you see. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you, you can get in here with these tools, this kneaded eraser, and if you want to be gentle, you can lift out gently. Mm. So it also has that ability to be very gentle, these tools, especially if you're going for a subtle gradation, what we call gradation of tone. Or you can be more bold with it. But one last thing about erasure. I sometimes say to students, look, don't be afraid to take the whole thing out to a ghost. I was waiting for this moment to happen. <laughs> and you take the whole thing out to the ghost, and guess what? The paper never forgets. This is what I want to... This is Mark's favorite part. The paper never forgets. It's And this is this is not very good paper. It's, it's very paper, thin. But we're just... if, I had, if I had paper with more tooth, it would be much more profound, this ghost. But you can see the ghost image of the face that I originally laid out there. The adventurer. <laughs> Don't be afraid to get messy. <laughs> I think this was great. Thank you for this um, demo. Don't be Down and dirty. scared and yeah, get dirty and adventurous and don't be scared there it is so if you have some drawings that you want to share with us or the process or your favorite tools please do send it in the comments or um, send them to us and we'll post it either on mark's facebook page or we'll just have fun with them so let's see what you can do quickly in about this was about six minutes so have yeah. fun have fun thanks bye